Hello everyone, welcome back to the Wire Network. In today's video, I am going to walk you through the step-by-step -step process of setting up a captive portal on a 40-gate firewall. Whether you are managing a small network or a large enterprise, a captive portal is a great way to control and secure user access. So, stick around and let's get started. Open a web browser and enter the IP address of your 40-gate firewall. Next, log in with your administrator credentials. Step 1. Create user group and user account. Go to user and authentication, then click on user group. Click create new. Next, set the name of the user group. Click OK to create new user group. Next, go to user definition. Click create new button. Set the user type to local user then click next. Set the user name and password you want. Click next. Click next. Enable the user group then set the group you created. Click submit. Step 2. Configure the captive portal. Next, navigate to the network interface and choose the interface that you wish to use for the captive portal. Set the interface Alice as you want. Set the interface role to LAN. Next, Set the addressing mode to manual, then assign an IP address. Enable HTTPS and ping. Next, enable DHCP server. Next, enable security mode. Select the authentication portal to local. Set the user access to restricted to group then select user group you created. Next, click OK to save the configuration. Step 3. Configure firewall rule to access the internet. Go to policy and object then click firewall policy. Click create new button. Next, set the name of the firewall rule. Set the incoming interface to captive portal interface. Set the outgoing interface to WAN. Set the source to all. Set the destination to all. Set the schedule to always. Set the service to all. Click the OK to save the configuration. I am currently connecting my computer to the FortiGate Captive Portal interface. Once the IP address is assigned to the computer, the 40-gate login page will open automatically. Next, enter the username and password that you set up in step 1. 